Okay. So, if you have come to this exercise, uh, this video, that means you have become an LS expert, right? So, you have uh, mastered uh, the if statement, sequence, and uh, uh, loops, arrays, and even events. You know, you have seen, uh, hopefully, you have uh, played with the coach and ball, uh, moving the ball around and uh, hitting the coach head. Uh, so, we use the events to control the ball, right? Each uh, keyboard um, uh, key press is a event, okay? So, now um, uh, we are ready to uh, frog game. So, this is the first time where we are using the pre-existing uh, file, okay? So, we need this existing file because uh, the, the setup is a bit, bit more complicated, okay? So, because that doesn't really teach us programming, so I would rather uh, focus on programming, not on the setup too much, okay? So, in this game, what we are going to do is make this uh, lily pads go back and forth, okay? So, we call it lily pads. Um, so, they are going to go moves or uh, circles, I guess, if you want to call it that way. So, the circles are going to go back and forth randomly. And then this guy, our frog, is uh, uh, is uh, not a swimmer, you know. So usually frogs can swim, but our frog cannot swim. So he needs our help to go across and reach the place, right? So that's the scenario. So let's see. Let me check on few things. Okay. Um, so first we are going to define. Uh, this circle. So, we want the circles to move back and forth. There are five circles. We don't want to write code separately. So, we want to create a list. Um, <clears throat> that's one. Another thing is that we are going to use the frog move forward and probably we use the mouse click or something. Okay. So, you can uh, create a mouse click. Um, create a new event and let's see mouse is clicked on something anything so basically frog will move forward this is just for now it's a space filler move forward and we know the distance between each circle is 0.7 so we are just going to say 0.7 okay for now that's good enough Sometimes I have seen problems when mouse is clicked, the frog moves twice. Uh, or if you use a even key event or something, frog also moves twice or thrice. You may want to quit Alice and come back again and play, uh, try that. You know, so I have seen that issue all the time. Okay, it's nothing to do with your program. Okay, so later we'll convert this into a method. Okay, well. Um, I guess we can do it now, but uh, we'll do that soon. Uh, let's focus on this uh, moving circles first, okay? Since uh, moving circles, the circles have to be referred by this method. Also, a method we are going to write for frog processing, jump processing. We are going to have the, uh, have the array here, not here here in the under the world that way it will be accessible to both methods if you define it here it will be local variable for my my first method it will not be available for the other method okay so that's why we are going to go under world's properties and create a new variable circles okay and that's a list right and that's a object to Okay, for five objects, remember in computer science, we always go from zero, zero to four. I believe the circle is this one. So, let's go circle, circle two, circle three, circle four, circle five. Okay, save, okay, make a list, okay, let's double check circle. Yeah, that's good, that's good. So, it is in that order. Okay, now, now let's go back to world. What are we going to do? Well, we want all these things, circles to move around. 
for all together expressions world circle right item from circles we want the circles to move right and move left let's see move right is working or not move right half a meter very good okay so the, we want this guy to move right move right and then followed by that move whenever you make a copy within this uh, for all together it always does this brings us none so I just copy that here and then move left okay let's play very good okay they're all moving together and they're all moving back well we want all of them to come here right so let's see what are these things pool square and ground square kind of hard to see which one i think that's a pool so we want the pools width we have a pool instead of one meter we want to go under pools functions and this is somewhere there pools width let's try that pools width let's try very good so it just goes right outside the pool and comes back right so we don't want it to go right outside we want it to stop right here how do you stop right there well it has the circle as a width two with two so we can reduce that this distance we should reduce math pools with minus pools with minus one ah, i don't know what happened there um, I thought you can do expression or something. That's okay. Now circle, circles width. Just to drag it, drag it. Put circles width. Okay. So now we should be correct. Very good. So it's going end to end with uh, right without leaving the pool. Okay. So now we want this to be done again and again. So do together, do together. What happened? Oh, not to do together here, um, not to do together. Uh, if we do move right, move left together, nothing will happen, right? Okay, that's not a good idea. I want, I, all I meant was loop, not to do together, loop. Okay, for each circles loop and uh, each circle does this, right? Okay. Whoa, what's happening? That's nice, but only problem is that they are doing like a synchronized dancing. We don't want that. We want them to move separately. How do you do? Well, by default, this is uh, happens in one second. We don't want one second. We want some random duration, right? So let's uh, enable the seconds first. Okay. So then, then we do some random number. Where is the random number? Right under world functions have all the special numbers, special functionality and everything. Random number. Just to drag it and put it under duration. Let's play. Whoa. So that's the duration. Duration is what the random is. So some ones are going so fast, you know, so they're going in jet speed, right? So we have to slow down a little bit. So we have to some specify some minimum. Where is that? Here, right here. Click on the more minimum um, three or something let's try five minimum five so that will be duration will be minimum will be five that's actually pretty good this guy still went a little bit fast occasionally going fast is okay let's click now well we have implemented the functionality yet right so 
That's why frog is kind of just uh, walking on the water. So, okay. So, now, you, now we are ready to do, do the next phase. Let's uh, play with this code first. Then we can uh, proceed to actual frog jump processing. Okay. Thank you.